This is important. Let's give it our best shot. This is the story of Christmas, the story of the birth of Jesus. Well, let's give it our best shot. And remember that little cliche, Virgo A? If you don't do that, I might just do that to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you call that motivation? I'm just stressing how important this is. We don't want God to look that now, do we? I think she has herself confused with God. Uh, I can understand where she's coming from. She just wants it to go well. I can understand that. Have you memorized your lines? Yep. How about you? <laughs> yes, I remember my lines. It was tough, but I think I got it. Me too. I stayed up late going over them. It just must be hard playing the hard roles, those big lead roles. It must be so important. Ha! Ah, you must be jealous because you have no lines. <laughs> yeah, all you get to do is stand there and flap your feathery wings. <laughs> Let me show you something. You know, when you're some Christmas, when you're mature, like me, <laughs> and able to accept the responsibility, <laughs> Maybe you'll be given some lines and you won't be a silent, lowly angel. <laughs> yeah, like um, the innkeeper. All he gets to say is, no room. Hey, that's my part. You stole my lines. You can pack a lot of emotion into those two small words. No room! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Like the whole play is going to center on you with the right intonation. It should be like this. No, no! <laughs> hey, mock me all you want. That's my part, that's my role, and I'm going to do it with swag. You can't have my part. I didn't say I wanted it. Mary Joseph, let's go. We're starting. And the angels, um, where are my angels? Where's angel number four? Anybody seen angel number four? Here I am. Are you sure that you have me in your right school? What are you talking about? You're perfect. Go ahead and go finish getting your makeup on. We'll need you angels and outfits. For now, I need Mary and Joseph and Gabriel. Can somebody please find Gabriel? I am Gabriel. I stand in the very presence of God. No, wait. In the very presence of God. Come on, Gabriel. Let's go. We're on. But I stand in the very presence of God! <laughs> Listen here, son. <laughs> Let me tell you something here. I hope you stand in the presence of God on stage. Uh-oh, we're on. But I've come with glad tidings! <laughs> well, there they go. The important actors, what did they know? Yeah. They think just because they have the big roles, they're more important than we are. Well, maybe they are. I mean, if they really trusted us with this, they could have given us a shot the bigger roles. Maybe we're just not that experienced. Well, at least you get to be the innkeeper's wife. That's almost as good as having a line. Oh, yeah, almost. Why? Because I stand there next to him while he says, no room. I get credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You're there to let me emotional support as I kick Mary and Joseph out to the cold. <laughs> yeah, emotional support. Right. If it were up to me, I would have given Mary and Joseph your room, and I would have sent you out into the manger with all the animals. <laughs> hey, hey, there's no way to talk to your husband. <laughs> you wish you were my husband. <laughs> what else would you have changed? What do you mean? Well, you said that you would have given his room to Mary and Joseph. What else would you have changed? Uh, I don't know. I guess I don't really know the story that well. Really? They didn't teach you that in the story in Sunday school? Well, honestly, Sundays are usually when I stay home on my couch and watch Netflix all day. <laughs> yeah, right. Me, you know, me too, really. Um, I've heard parts before, but I've never really understood or heard the whole thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I will lay. <laughs> no, no, no. They just started.
started the rehearsals. <laughs> good, good. Well, we got time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what have we been talking about here? Well, these guys, they said that they don't know the story of the Christmas story. Is that possible? Yeah, it's possible. I guess adults think that, st that children learn the story through osmosis or something. What's flosblosis? <laughs> <laughs> dentist. Uh, <laughs> osmosis, it means you learn something uh, by being around somebody who already knows it. Yeah. Or like by being in a play about it. Exactly. Haven't you guys read the script? I don't need to read the script. I'm just the eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Then go get me a soda. <laughs> Good idea. Then I can carbonate your face. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. <laughs> So, Miss Spicy, how much of this story do you really know? Hmm, well, I know that it starts with John the Fascist being born. Oh. <laughs> it be John the Baptist. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What were his parents' names again? I know. Elizabeth and Zizaliah. Zechariah. Yes, there it is. Uh, Zizaliah, Zechariah, whatever. He was at church and he was praying and a spirit told him his wife was going to have a baby, right? Uh, close. Um, here, stand up. You stand here. Right over here. You are Elizabeth. And you will be Zachariah. Do I look like Zachariah to you? One second. Here. <laughs> 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 there you go. You look like a guy now. <laughs> now you are Zachariah. And we need an angel. I'll be the angel Gabriel. <laughs> now remember, you're a priest, right? And and so you go into the temple and offer incense on the altar, kind of like this. What is that, burn the carpeting? The altar's kind of a little stove type. Thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on the altar. So what part do I get to have? Well, you get to pray outside with the crowd. You and her <laughs> go outside, have fun, pray, pray a little bit. Bye. <laughs> Wonderful. Now you're offering incense on the altar. The stove thing. The stove thing, right. Now, um, you're in the you're in the temple, and you're you're an old man, and your wife is an old lady. Oh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> um, now you, you're a priest, and you're in the temple. You're offering incense. You both are righteous before God, um, but you're praying for a son. Now you ready? Action. Yo, God, I like one son, and I'm super old. Mm. So put, yeah, make that happen. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Pretend that you're him. How would you pray if you were him? Okay. Oh, God, I know you hear us when we pray. Mm -hmm. Me and Elizabeth have been faithful to you all these years. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. So please, yes. come over yes. quick. Uh, yes. Amen. 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 That sounded yes. way better. Woo <laughs> yes, okay. Now, in comes an angel. You call. <laughs> I'm gonna do this right. Be careful, I don't think our insurance covers that. <laughs> I am Gabriel. I stand in God's presence. In his Christmas presence? No, not, not that kind of presence. Not that kind. Modern English for you. I am Gabriel. I stand right next to God. Do not be afraid, Zechariah. I'm not. <laughs> I forgot, sorry. You are supposed to be afraid. Zachariah, do not be afraid. I'm not. Oh, wait. I can't 
very, very afraid. <laughs> God has heard your prayers, and he will give you a son, and you shall name him Juan. John in English. <laughs> hey, where did the rest of them go? Yeah. He told them to go outside and pray. I'll, I'll be right back, guys. So what happens next? <coughs> next, you don't believe Gabriel. Why don't I believe him? Because you're old, remember? See, you're telling me that old people don't believe in angels. No, that is so prejudiced. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe the angel because your wife is old enough to be a grandma, remember? <coughs> okay. <laughs> That is not what I say. <laughs> what I actually say is, God can do anything, Zechariah, including have your wife make a baby. But because you did not believe the Lord, he's going to make it happen. But you're not going to be able to speak until it's done. So wait, I can't say anything? Nothing. <laughs> anything until the baby's born. Like that sentence, for instance, you couldn't say that. <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh. Your star is here. <laughs> I always knew I'd be a star. I was born for the stage. I was made to be wildly popular. Me and stardom, we go hand in hand. In fact, I'm a superstar. <laughs> Honey, you are not that kind of star, and you're having starlings by the day. <laughs> well, the girl's got a dream, doesn't she? Don't you belong in a galaxy far, far away or something? <laughs> Excuse me, Queen Elizabeth. I am the star of Bethlehem. And if it weren't for me, those wise men might still be looking for Jesus out in the desert. That's right. Or Zizzle, as we stars call him. Zizzle. <laughs> now I know that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I sympathize with you, uh, what happens next? What happens next? Well, oh yeah, the story. Hold on. So Elizabeth really does have a baby. Meet little baby John. Interesting. He's cushy. <laughs> but before that happens, the angel Gabriel first goes to Mary. Who, me? Yeah, we're doing a backstage reenactment of the play here, and you just happen to look like... Mary. <laughs> okay, that's the upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is your chance. Okay, so I go to Star, <laughs> no, I go to Mary, and I say, I am Gabriel. Mary, do not be afraid. You are highly favored of God, and you will be with a child, and his name shall be Jesus. Oh, I know this part. Behold, I've been handmade by the Lord. <laughs> Girl, this is your chance for a speaking part, okay? The line is, behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Handmaid? What does that mean? It means that whatever the angel asks her to do, she's willing to do it. Yep, you got it, Gabe. Whatever God wants, I'm your girl. No, this was serious. The God of the universe was getting ready to enter history. And Mary said that he had permission to use her as his entrance into all of history. So, I thought God made everything. Yes, but this was different. How? Uh, let's see you explain this one. How do I put this? Behold, your king! What? No applause? <laughs> well, well, if it isn't King Horrid. <laughs> That's King Herod, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Your Majesty. Not. <laughs> Are you ready for a knockout out performance by me tonight? Only if that means you get knocked out. <laughs> Hey, why are you being so hostile toward me? Are you kidding? 
You're the one who orders your guards to kill all the kids in Bethlehem just because you wanted Jesus dead. Hey, it's in the script. I can't help it. If I could do it differently, I would. Hey, sorry to interrupt here, but uh, we're actually at that park. Let's see how you do. What do you mean? We're doing an upgraded rendition of the Christmas story here. Would you care to play yourself? Well, why not? Innkeeper, innkeeper's wife, let's go. You two guards, come on. Oh, do I have to come? You're not doing anything back here anyways. <coughs> let's move. Angels and five. All right, it looks like you're the star and Mary and the director. Take over, will you? All right, got it. Okay, we're on. <laughs> All right, Herod, this is your part, but we need more actors. Hey, guys, can you help out? Okay, what can we do? Um, what are you supposed to be? I'm a wise guy. You come from far, that sort of thing. Okay, well, I need a wise old Caesar Augustus. Hey, you, could you help me out? Yeah. All right. Um, you can be an innkeeper, but we'll get to that part in a minute. This is the part of the play where Caesar issues a decree for everyone to get taxed. I hereby decree that all the world shall be taxed. Right. Everyone must return to their home city and register. Okay, so Mary and Joseph, um, I need a Joseph. Hey, you, you've been, uh, voluntold. <laughs> that you are, but for now you'll be Joseph, okay? Uh, okay. All right, so Mary and Joseph take a long journey to Bethlehem. And Mary was very pregnant. Show him some concern, would you? Oh, right. Sorry. Are you tired? You Let's stop and rest somewhere. Are you tired? Yes, I think that's a good idea. It is getting late. <laughs> Look here, and then let's see if they have any room for us. Oh, oh, I love it. No, sorry, sir. No room? What kind of trash dump are you running here, man? <laughs> hey, Joseph wouldn't have said that. He was tired, could have been cranky. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again, Joseph. No room. Please, sir, my wife is ready any time now to have her baby. We need a place to stay. I'm sorry, sir. We're full. If I can set you up in a manger if you like. I will do. <laughs> so Mary and Joseph go to the manger, and Jesus is born. What a lousy way to start a life, eh? Yeah, it didn't end so red hot either. You know, <laughs> born in a manger, died on a cross. He was showing how far God was willing to go to save us. Yeah, that's right. Do you guys realize how amazing this moment was? His birth here? This was the greatest moment in history. You know, I really never thought about it that way. I think we all should be taking this a whole lot more seriously. Yes, you volunteered to do the Christmas play every single year. You have fun playing your part. Go home. It doesn't always seem like God actually went through for us and why. Yeah, he could have been born anywhere, and he decided to be born in a dirty old manger. He died on a shameful old cross. Let's go, people, places. We're going to work on the big musical finale. Ma'am, what is it, sir? You know, Jesus, he went through a lot, didn't he? What are you talking about? You know, Jesus, he he went through a lot, and his parents did too. Do you think they realized how important what they were going through was? I don't know, but can you take your place on stage, please? <laughs> well, I'm glad they went through it. I just thought I'd let you know. Well, thank you, Star. No, thank you for allowing me to be the star of Bethlehem. That star pointed people straight to Jesus. I'll never take that lightly again. I want to live that role. Mm. Mm. Hey, what's been going on back here anyways? <laughs> <laughs>